Hayley, you were very much aware of Jade Goody. You were aware yes. of what was happening to her. Yes. And I did ignore my smears. Um, I was 29. Um, I think I just had the kind of, it won't happen to me attitude, mm -hmm. you know. To be honest, there wasn't a lot of awareness before Jade. Um, I always knew I had to go and do it at some yeah, point. Yeah, we know. We know we get it was later, just, you know, sure. getting around to it yeah. or anything. And yeah, I followed her story um, and I got tested after she passed away. And it was really her that made you go and get tested, wasn't 100%, it? 100%, yeah. So what yeah. did they find? Um, an aggressive tumour. Um, I had to have a hysterectomy um, in October 2009. God, that's really um, hard to go through that. Yeah. But if you hadn't gone... Um, yeah. yeah. Do you genuinely think that if you hadn't... Her story hadn't happened. Yes, you she wouldn't saved have gone for that. Oh, you think she saved your life? Hundred percent. Sure. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's amazing. We need to keep the legacy alive. No, we do. We really do. And I know that you really help other women. Yeah. And, and the message is so clear because, you know, women doing this test. I hate. We're all saying we hate the word smear test, don't we? Yes. Smear test screening is not test. good. It should be called something like a life-saving screening or yeah. something like that. It's not to detect than... cancer. It's to detect pre-cancerous yeah. cells. So. Um, which could lead to cancer. Indeed, indeed. So I think a lot of women worry. They hear the word and they, you know. So, but it's not. It's not for that. But but it can save your life, as you of said. Course, and, yeah. and of course, Georgina, you you were very young. Yes. Yeah. You'd already had your, you'd already had your daughter. Yes. I watched and followed everything that happened to Jade, and it really upset me seeing that she passed away, left her boys, and I knew that I couldn't leave it. I had to go and get tested mm -hmm. straight away. Because you're a little girl. Yes. I mean. When you got tested, what what was the result then, right away? Um, they said that I'd got severe changes in my cervix right. and they needed to do a colposcopy. So I paid private for that because there was such a waiting list mm. to, on the NHS sure. that I was so scared that I paid privately. Right, OK. And then that's when I got the bad news that I'd got an aggressive tumour too. Jeez. And how was that treated? Well, they tried to save my fertility first. Right. Um, they did a deep knife cone biopsy and removed my lymph nodes, mm -hmm. but that weren't successful, so I had to have a radical hysterectomy. Right, so you do have your daughter, but it meant the possibility yes. of future children wouldn't happen. That's but right. you're here. We're alive. I was 25, I had no symptoms at all, and I thought that I were healthy, mm. and Famous I really person. weren't. Gosh, so you just don't know. You That's just don't the thing. know. And we're so lucky that we've got the opportunity to have that, that we get the opportunity to do that. There's other countries where you don't. No, exactly. And I mean, I know that you had to go privately, which is which you shouldn't have to. No, no that was my personal choice. Mm. It's not because I had to, it's just that I was really worried. Yeah, just for speed. It, it would just no, for speed. I can understand that completely. I really can. It's amazing, isn't it? The sort of legacy of Jade Charlene. I mean, you knew her very, very well. You knew her for years and years and years. You're a bridesmaid. What do you think she'd make of all of this? I think that she'd be so proud, like she'd done it just to like raise the awareness and it's it, it worked. Yeah. For example, it, it worked. Um and a lot of girls wasn't going and at one stage I was trying to lower the um age. You know, once you start getting symptoms or once you start getting the cramps, the abnormal bleeding, it's there's signs that it's there already. Yeah. So the only way you can get this done and know beforehand it early. Mm. is if you have your smear. And if you get it detected early, the chances are huge that you're going to yeah, be okay. Of course. I mean, you've, you've, you've given yourself life. I mean, poor, poor Jade. Yeah. You know, she died. Her, her little boys were very young. They've had to grow up without their, their mum. Mm -hmm. Do they talk about their mum? Yes. Good. They do. They do. So they she's do. kept very much alive in she's their life. Kept very oh, much good. alive. We talk yeah, about yeah. her all the time when we're around the boys. They, we tell them stories, we show them photos. You know, you know they. Jade's very much still yeah. around. Because they're, what, 15 and 14 now? Yes. Wow. 15, believe, Young men, really. Taller. <laughs> they're taller than they. <laughs> no, it's too, but they, they've <laughs> still got... So they still, yeah, yeah. They, they, gosh, they are tall. They, they've still got that memory of their mum. And I'm sure they're very proud of her because we talked about that, the Jade Goody effect, as people called it. And clearly yes. with you two, in your case, that made you... That was, the, that was the kind of catalyst that made you go and have the test. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, it, there's a new generation of girls growing up now who maybe yeah. don't, aren't exactly. aware of Jade. Story. That's right. Um, and it's getting that message out to them, isn't it? Yeah. It's that the next generation yeah. that's come up. They Obviously, in our generation, we had Jade, and so therefore, what happened to Jade it encouraged us and a yes. lot of other women to go and get a smear test. But it shouldn't take somebody to get poorly. No. For other people to sit up and listen and realise, oh yeah, maybe I should go and get my test. We should be doing it anyway. It's just raising that awareness. We need we need women, young for. women, any women, to go and get a smear test, especially if they've got symptoms. 
Well, you're the, the living proof, yeah. absolutely the living proof, that if you get this test and, okay, it's bad news, but you're, you're fine. Okay, You're still, absolutely yeah. fine. Thanks I mean, I know you still, you still get tests, you still do yes, that. Yeah. So a two-minute smear test or ten years of hospital checks. Yes, or no, even worse. And I, what I would pick. Exactly. Well, you know what? I think you two would... You know, you do, like you said, you owe your lives to that young woman. We do, indeed. Who's no longer with us. I know. Yeah. Very, very sad. I know you'll be thinking about her tomorrow. Yes. I know you think about her all the time, but particularly tomorrow. If everyone could just make that phone call and just get it done, it's... It will save your life, no one else. There ain't a lump, there ain't nothing that's obvious. No, yeah. It's no only obvious. that, it's only that that can do it, so. Yeah. Like Charlene said, you really need to get tested because if you've got no symptoms, that's a good sign. If you've got the symptoms, that's not a good sign. Yeah. We need yeah. to be getting it early. Exactly. Don't wait until you've got symptoms to go and get a smear test. Go and get it anyway. Yeah. And fantastic. Couldn't have put it better. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Great thank to see you. all three of you. Thank really, you. really, really good to see you. And it's great to see you looking so well and so healthy. And thank, thank you, Thank you very, very much. Right. And as ever, you'll find lots of information and advice on our website. For goodness sake, go for the test, please.